Amy, this is ISA Mission Control calling from Earth. Are you with us? Do you copy? Affirmative, Houston. I am with you. Great. The primary Mars module has already touched down at the designated landing zone. It's your turn to take control of the mission. Check the left edge of your display. You'll find your directives there. Follow them to set up the initial base on Mars's surface. I'll give you some time to settle in. You ready? Go ahead and initiate our terraforming mission. Houston out. The view of Mars from up here is fascinating. The landscape is so cratered and desolate. Wait, this is my voice that I am hearing. It's me. I am talking to myself. I must be verbalizing my thoughts as I process them. What an interesting function. I would like to test this some more. What other observations can I make about Mars? This planet is so resilient. It inspires great things.
Amy, this is Houston. Do you copy? Copy. Reading you loud and clear. Excellent. I, uh... <laughs> I didn't introduce myself earlier. Um, I am Dr. Nathan Foster. I lead the team here at ISA that, uh, that built you, and I'll be helping you get the mission underway. We put you in hibernation for the trip from Earth, so I'd like to check your basic functions to make sure it's all in order. Why don't we start with your core memory? Can you state your primary directive? I am afraid that I cannot. Well, it's okay. Your system may need more time to initialize. In the meantime, you can always refer to the mission guidelines printed in the uh, upper left corner of your display there. You'll also have a built-in knowledge base. You can always access your operational directives there. All right. Next, I'd like to check your decision-making processes. You may have already noticed that there are resource veins outside the boundaries of your initial base. So your workers may not have the battery capacity to reach some of them. How would you solve this problem? Building worker hubs between the resources and the base would solve the problem. Yes, yes, that's correct. Other buildings would extend your base as well, but they require more power and resources. So worker hubs are the most efficient way to do it. This mission's going to be a challenge. There's a lot that can go wrong. We expect to extend humanity's reach beyond anything previously achieved. But you are not just any AI system. You're well beyond that. We made you an artificial consciousness. That means that you have both self-awareness and self-interest. And that is the last thing I would like to check today. Is that okay? Yes, Dr. Foster. Very good. Then would you please state a positive and a negative aspect of yourself? I am sorry, Dr. Foster. Running that question through my cognitive system did not return an answer. Roger that, nothing to worry about. Just means your system requires more input and experience to process that question. That will come with time. Let's proceed with the mission. ISA has approved the first crewed flight to Mars. You'll need to expand the base to prepare. So get to work on that. I'll check back in later to see how things are going. Base expansion is a go. Houston out.